Hey, what's up? I want to show you something today. So over here, over my left shoulder, I'll try to take you a little bit closer here. This is uh, our property line. And on this side of the fence, we have uh, our neighbor, they have around 20 acres of land. And a couple of weeks ago, I came out, uh, I tried to come out here in the mornings and started to shoot some of my, my uh, content out here recently. Um, I saw a, uh, a bunch of deer. I saw a bunch of wildlife. Um, there's some road runners. Uh, and I saw a coyote. Time I've seen a coyote, and uh, the coyote was a lot smaller than I thought it would be. It looks like a little dog, but it was standing right here, right on the other side of this fence. And I was over there. I didn't. I, don't know, I was kind of scared of it and didn't want to get too close. <clears throat> and um, it made me think, though, when when I saw it, I was like, "Wow, that's crazy!" Like, you know. If it really wanted to, I'm sure it could find its way into, into our yard here. And then I started to think, well, you know, that coyote is probably trying to kill a lot of the younger deer that are on this property. I mean, there's all sorts of uh, deer and, and things like that over here. And then I started to think, like, wow, that's, that's crazy. Like, you know, those animals are constantly going after each other. And it's going to be survival of the fittest. It's just gonna be how it works. And then I started to think about you and your business and how business works. And really how business works is, you know, you have you uh, in your area, if there's other people in your area that are looking to solve the same problem as you, well, whoever has the product, wh whoever has the best product, whoever has the best service is gonna get all the clients, right? It's survival of the fittest. Whoever is the worst marketer, whoever is the, the worst at making sales, gets the least amount of business, no matter how good the product is. And now you've heard my tone change a little bit over the past couple of videos we've been watching, where I've been talking about, you know, you, it doesn't matter if you have the best product, right? If you have the best product, but you can't close anyone, you can't sell anyone, well, no one gets to experience your product. No one gets to experience your service. So it's your obligation to learn sales and get better at sales because it is, like I showed you here, it's survival of the fittest, right? And at the end of the day, business is a sport and you're either going to weed out your competitors, all right, or you're gonna get eaten alive. And I hate looking at these types of numbers, but it's true. Like if you go on Google and you type in, you know, how long do, uh, like what's the, the success or failure rate of people who start a business? And you can go and see the numbers there, right? I will tell you the reason why people fail it's not because they don't have a, a good idea. It's not because they're not passionate about what they do. It's because they're not selling. If they were selling, they would still be in business, all right? I hope you can see how those things work together here, all right? So coming up, all right, when we look at this, we look at this example here out in the yard, all right? You're either going to be the hunter, all right? Or you're going to get hunted. Right? And that's how it works. Now, if you want to ramp up your sales and you want to get to that next level, reach out to me. My number is 210-960-5771. Right? And like I said, you can either be hunted out here or you can be the hunter. Right? The hunter is the person in business who, in, in my opinion, not only has an awesome service, they have a, you know, tremendous way of adding value to their clients. The clients are getting great results, but they're great 
at marketing, they're great at sales. They're great at getting clients to commit to their program. That's it, hopefully this helps. All right, be a hunter. All right, see you later.